hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how you can create a glass effect or glass morphism using adobe illustrator so without wasting time let's get to work first of all i'm going to open my illustrator i'm going to create a new file i'm gonna make sure i'm in at an illustrations i'm gonna choose 1920 by 1080 let me change it to pixels. I have to make sure it is portrait. Now create. So I'll drag and drop my image into Illustrator. So this is my image and I'm going to scale it. Hold shift. You tweak and resize. So again, I'm going to resize due to the desired size. I want it to fit uh, this, this one. There is a better way of scaling this, scaling images, but let me take this one and my image is a little bit stretched you can see so I'm gonna add just this like right there and I'm gonna pick artboard tool then adjust the size of the artboard and that's enough so I'm going to copy this image I'm going to create two copies because the one copy it's where I'm going to apply my effects so you can hold alt on your keyboard click and drag so I have a copy already or you can just hold the control hold the control on your keyboard uh, with C then you still you hold control and hit F to paste it in front so this is my image I'm going to go to appearance on the navigation panel so this is appearance if you don't see these tools you can still enable them by going to the window you can enable all of them right here appearance yes the gradient tool <coughs> and uh, the transparency tool so you can easily come back and enable them so now this is my image and I'm going to apply filter I'm going to apply my effect sorry so I'm going to choose um, appearance then go to effects that's the effect then I'm going to choose bra then I'm gonna apply it's called Gaussian bra so you can trick and uh, to, to the point you want by adjusting this but for now I'm going to take 40 uh, 40 is enough so that's and um, I'm gonna change this view to trim view so that I cut these sides that are out of our artboard so now I'm going to get my rectangle tool my rectangle tool and I draw here a simple round rectangle so you can adjust it the corners by getting the direct this one this tool is the direct selection tool then you adjust a little bit to get those corners so I'm going to get copy of this two copies one and two so the first one I'm going to use it as a clip mask so I'm going to apply a clip mask so simply click on this image then you hold shift and click on the shape uh, right click make a clip mask so after applying a clip mask Now this is my image. So 
so for now I'm going to get back to my appearance go to effects now I'm going to apply artistic um, uh, sorry not artistic distort and glass so this is my glass so um, going to adjust a little bit adjust until you you keep on tweaking this until you get that little effect that glass effect so you keep on tweaking uh, I think that's fine okay so now I'm going to get another shape, align it, and now I'm going to apply a gradient, fill on this, make sure it is white. So the first one, adjust opacity 25% and the location 0 and the second one still 0 opacity and the location 100% so the midpoint you can you can make it around 30% and then the angle can adjust angle to 65 degrees make sure it is properly aligned so let me get rid of this black outline so now that one is done and uh, I'm going to apply the same procedures on the outline so the stroke get the stroke and uh, I have to make sure they are white I'm going to put another chalk in between here so the first one you have to make sure all of them are white but the first one the opacity is 25 and uh, location 0 so you can change them uh, the second one five percent and the location is fifty percent uh, the third one 25 and opacity 100 so now I'm going to adjust these midpoints the first midpoint change the location to 35 percent and the second one 65 percent so now angle let's make it to 100 degrees and um, we are going to adjust the stroke so you simply go to stroke line outside we can hide this back and we can get our last shape where we are going to apply on which we are going to apply noise so let's get back to our appearance then effect artistic film grain so here we're going to apply film grain And uh, sorry, let's change its color to black. Let it be black. So now let's go back to the effects artistic and uh, film grain. So this is the noise texture. Yes, you can 
put 20, 20 and uh, 10 is you keep on tweaking but for me I would go with the 20, 20 and 10 click OK so after that I can now apply or change the blending mode of this so you can go to transparency to blending mode to overlay so you can adjust the opacity to 50% if you see 50% is not enough for you, you can still trick it to uh, let me let me take it to 45. Adjust it until you feel you feel uh, it's okay with you. Let me take it to 30. See it's what a, that effect is keep on tweaking. Let me take 45. That glass effect now. That's so. So you, you can add the text here. You can add. Glass. Morphism. You can resize this. So it's fill colored white and the font to Montserrat. Right. Let me take it to black. This the size to seventy two. So let me lock this layer all in control and two. I want to adjust this. them to be on the same page so that is that's how you can design uh, a glass morphism or that's how you can make glass morphism in Adobe Illustrator thank you guys for watching have a nice day